Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have a look on Forza Horizon 5. Uh, not necessarily gonna play it, uh, drive around or uh, such. Just having a look. I played it for about 20, 25 hours now, I think. This screen, for instance, playground games. Sometimes, especially uh, the first day, if you had a Steam version, you were stuck on that thing. This Turn 10 Studios thing, it never showed up. You went back to desktop and uh, it crashed on launch. The main problem with that is that it has uh, antivirus issues. If you're running an antivirus, more than likely the game will not boot up. Then people told us uh, to disable this and disable that, uh, it all didn't help. Eventually we ended up uninstalling the antivirus and then the game boots. Uh, that of course is temporarily solution because that needs to be patched as soon as quickly. Because most people are running some sort of uh, malware protection or antivirus uh, on their PC. So it cannot be that a game doesn't boot because of it. I'm sure uh, they are working on it, but we'll see uh, how long that takes. Other than that, uh, we are obviously in Mexico. That is where Forza Horizon 5 uh, takes place. Settings look uh, pretty okay. I'm having 870 FPS here uh, on the launch. <laughs> but that also changes over time. Uh, also, there are some uh, issues with that. These are the video settings uh, that I have at the moment. I just have it on 1080. Frame rate unlocked. V-Sync off. Uh, that is what we have there. And these are uh, the graphic settings. Uh, you have some sort of extreme settings uh, if your uh, PC slash video card uh, can run it. But the extreme, um, not all of the things can go extreme. You can go extreme uh, with shadow, I think. Yeah, you can go with shadow, you can go extreme. There are some other uh, stuff that you can go extreme with. But it costs you some uh, frames and the difference between extreme and ultra is not that high. Uh, especially uh, the shadow, the um, environment, texture and geometry. Those are uh, frame killers. So uh, you can bring that a bit lower if you uh, want some more uh, FPS. MSAA, uh, it can go to A times, but also there, it costing you some frames, and the difference between two times and A times is uh, not that big. Uh, DLSS or something is not available, so you have to do it with uh, anti-aliasing. You can go with FXAA, but uh, MSAA seems to be uh, running a bit smoother. So uh, I just left it on two. I tried four, I tried eight. Don't see much difference. The only thing it does is uh, cost you some frames. World car level of detail. Uh, you can also put that on extreme, uh, but this is also a frame killer. It shows uh, the quality of your car and uh, also from uh, other cars and driver cars and such on the map. I have it on ultra now, uh, but you can put it even a bit lower if you want. The rest uh, doesn't do that much, so I would leave it on ultra if your system can run it. Uh, particle effects uh, is also a killer so uh, I brought that down to high uh, because ultra is the highest so those five things particle environmental texture environmental geometry um, shaders and shadows those are the things uh, that I did not put on the highest but other than that I have uh, everything on the highest and then uh, we continue. Uh, yeah, other than that, as I said, I'm not going to play now. I'm I'm just booted up the game. I'm just sitting uh, on the desk. But normally I play it uh, with the wheel. I have my wheel on uh, 300 degrees. But it's not connected now, uh, so I cannot uh, show you. But uh, put up the, um, the damping and the springs. Put it on zero. You don't want it. It works pretty good uh, with the wheel. 
quite an improvement uh, compared to uh, Forza Horizon 4. You have a different slider for road and off-road, so you can put that... Uh, I'm running it on 300 degrees with uh, between 60 and 70 percent feedback, depending on uh, how I feel. I played uh, eight or nine hours yesterday with 70 percent feedback, but then you start feeling it uh, after a while. <laughs> so today I played with 60 percent feedback, uh, that works pretty fine. Let's have a look uh, in game. Now, yeah, it's going to optimize again because I don't have the wheel connect. So uh, it all runs fine. Normal situation, uh, I'm getting somewhere between 100 and 180 FPS. Seeing we have it on unlocked frames, it goes up and down uh, the whole time but nothing uh, major differences what we have noticed though is that uh, welcome back dave after a while like here now i'm having a 136 137 fps works pretty fine yeah i have don't have no idea uh, about any of these uh, buttons at the moment for the keyboard Let's have a look quickly. What's the camera? Quickly map something, uh, that's not that important. Rewind this R, camera you put on C. Map horn, photo mode, that's all fine. Yeah, you need Anna, apparently. Okay, let's save it quickly so that we have some idea uh, what we're doing there. been disconnected please try again later uh, that pops up every uh, couple of minutes you just retry and uh, it puts you back online there are some serious issues uh, with the servers let that be clear on uh, the first weekend of the game getting in a convoy with your friends uh, yeah forget about it does not work but other than that uh, it looks uh, very fine as you can see we're getting 140 FPS, not a problem. Uh, the problem comes into play when you play like two or three hours, then your frames start dropping like crazy for some uh, unexplainable reason, and then you can get uh, 25 to 40 uh, sometimes. Especially uh, on this side of the map. This is the map. Uh, it looks to be uh, pretty similar as Forza Horizon 3 or Forza Horizon 4. Um, If you look at it like that, uh, on the map size, but uh, the map is descaled a little bit more uh, than in the other games. That means that uh, if you would take, uh, let's say, a couple of centimeters on or inches on your uh, map, in Forza Horizon 5 you're going to have to drive longer to get there than in Forza Horizon 4. So the map is a, a bit bigger. Uh, what is also something different is that uh, for these... Uh, 
yeah, this is still working uh, equally. Okay, that's up. That's down. Okay, A is left apparently. Yeah, it's W uh, S D A to move your keyboard uh, left and right on that map. That's very nice, uh, especially if you have a, a Zerti keyboard. That doesn't work very well. So you might have to uh, relook at that if you want to play with the keyboard. The difference, uh, the main uh, Horizon Festival. is uh, over there somewhere Jesus Christ there it is Horizon Festival in Mexico that's the main festival which is sort of uh, mid-west on the map uh, but it's not the only festival uh, in this game there you have the Horizon Baya outpost and that is uh, the off-road festival and uh, you, it goes on like that here we have the purple one this is the horizon street scene outpost over here we have the apex outpost this is for uh, road racing over here we have the wild outpost this is for uh, dirt racing so each of these different uh, disciplines in a way within the game have their own uh, little outpost of the festival uh, at this uh, game so we have one uh, over here for the dirt you have one for the road you have one for street scene you have one uh, for cross country and uh, you also have one for uh, the pr stunts uh, but i'm not sure where that is exactly over here somewhere there it is the Horizon Rush Outpost. That is uh, related to, uh, yeah, it's the home of the PR stunts. So it's related to uh, all the PR stunts. Once you unlock these things, uh, all these things show up on your map, sort of. So yeah, it's pretty similar to Forza Horizon 4. Uh, the only difference is here that they have put it on uh, several little outposts uh, from the festival. Uh, how do you unlock these things if you go into your map and you go into the uh, horizon adventure then it sort of uh, gives you uh, an overview of these uh, festivals the pink one is uh, the main stage if you go in there you have your uh, first mission of these things is always to unlock that uh, outpost so you do that mission it involves taking some pictures, uh, finding some statues, uh, stuff like that, where you have to take pictures of, or you need to do uh, certain little missions on the area uh, where you have to go. Then uh, the second one is, uh, uh, what, are, what were they called again? This is some sort of challenge or something uh, in Forza Horizon 4. Those things where you have to uh, race against the plane or uh, some motorbikes or uh, against the train. That's like the second mission in that thing. Then um, the third mission is uh, some horizon story with uh, different chapters that you have to do. And then uh, the fourth mission is the main event for the global map, obviously, that is uh, the Goliath. And uh, the same goes for the other things. You have an expedition to find that apex outpost. Then uh, you have a little uh, horizon story thing. And then you have the main event, which is uh, the Colossus. And uh, the same goes for dirt racing, an expedition to find uh, the wild outpost. El Camino is a uh, horizon story. Then uh, here you're up against wave crashers, uh, some hovercrafts or something that you're up against. And then uh, eventually the main event for dirt, which is uh, the gauntlet. If you played Forza Horizon 4, you will be familiar with those names because they have used exactly the same names for those races. Same here, by expedition to unlock the uh, cross-country outpost. 
Here you have uh, Buggy and the Beast, which is uh, a race against uh, a monster truck, I think. You have uh, a stunt driver, Horizon Story, and you have eventually the main event for Cross Country, which is the Titan. Uh, things like the Gauntlet, uh, I think, takes over 20 minutes. If you want to do that, uh, let's say with an A800 car, it will take you over 20 minutes to complete that. To give you an idea on the uh, map size. Uh, Horizon Rush, same story. Expedition, uh, a race against the train and uh, eventually the Juggernaut which is a mega trailblazer uh, PR stunt. And then uh, we have the street scene, same story. Expedition uh, to get your uh, outpost and then uh, not sure what this is, either a race or a story mission, Horizon Story, and then eventually the main event for Street Scene, which uh, just like in Forza Horizon 4 is called the Marathon. Uh, I have, you need to uh, get some points together to be able to appoint them to uh, the unlocks and then you can get it uh, going. I did uh, pretty much, uh, as you can see here, I did the main one, I have uh, four points that I used there, and then I did the uh, expedition missions uh, for each of these different scenes. But now I need more points. Uh, points you can get from the accolades here. The expeditions I completed, uh, as you can see. These are uh, the different expeditions, and in there, uh, if you complete those things, there are also uh, some rewards in there. There are some gifts in there, there are some cars in there, uh, you have to claim them here. In here, in this case, uh, a Ford F-150 pre-runner Deberti uh, that I collected here. So you do these things and then you need to collect it uh, on this board here. And uh, the same goes for uh, all of the other things here. This is uh, main campaign stuff, you have the expeditions, you have skills. Then uh, you have the different families in a way, you have road racing, dirt racing, street scene, cross country uh, and then we come uh, to the PR stunts, speed traps, danger signs, speed zones, trailblazers, drift zones, pretty similar as in uh, Forza Horizon 4. Uh, and each of these things has uh, a big board with all kind of things uh, that you can do. You need to get uh, one star in uh, all of these things, you need to get two stars in all of these things, you need to get three stars in all of these things. And then that whole board uh, will be full. So this is a, a way uh, of getting points, accolades, points, which uh, is sort of your way of leveling up uh, in this game. Uh, this one, I have no idea what it is. I have uh, probably playgrounds. It's like the only thing that I haven't played in this thing. Uh, all the rest I have uh, unlocked. This is online. This is uh, creative liveries, uh, stunt things like that, uh, tunes, setups things like that, uh, that's what uh, is that is about. Discovery and collections, uh, you need to find some uh, XP boards, some fast travel boards, uh, stuff like that, same as uh, before. And then uh, here in the beginning uh, we have some festivals, uh, we have stories, different horizon stories that you can do. If you complete all of the stars then you will get uh, 104 uh, on this board here. These are the different stories, El Camino, Vocho, Test Driver, Lucha de Carreteras, Born Fast and V10. Those are uh, the Horizon stories at this moment in time, they might uh, add a few more uh, later on. We have the festival playlist, um, Yeah, here you need to uh, complete 12 daily Forzatons, uh, things like that. Uh, the Forzaton is not available at the moment yet, but they will uh, do that with a later update, I believe. They will bring in the Forzaton. The Forzaton shop is in the menu, but if you go there, it gives an error uh, of some sort. They did, uh, for the first week, for launch week, uh, they did put in uh, some sort of uh, festival. It is spring season, just like in Forza Horizon 4, it works with four seasons. It is uh, spring season now uh, when you come into the game. And then, uh, yeah, you need to complete... Uh, 20 seasonal championships, uh, 5 trial events, 10 trial events, 30 championships. So yeah, uh, some of these things you're gonna have to take some time and play a couple of festivals every week to be able uh, to complete this board, uh, for instance. In a way it works, uh, this board structure uh, sort of comes back from uh, Legoland thing with the bricks. 
this this is sort of uh, or uh, the startings from uh, Forza Horizon 4. That's sort of uh, what this thing is, and uh, that is a way to level you up. Uh, other than that, it pretty much is uh, still the same structure. We have cars. Uh, I'm playing for two days. I bought one car. I have 59 cars in my garage. So that's still the same thing. You have wheel spins, super wheel spins. You have uh, rewards from missions, this and that. They are still throwing cars at you. I have one new feature though. When it comes to cars. The gift drop. If you gift drop, if there is something you do not want in your garage. Let's say uh, you get some car or like here. This is uh, one of the uh, starters cars. And then uh, the next day I get from the Forza Horizon community, uh, I get this car here, which is pretty much uh, the same thing. It's the Singray 2020. And this one is the starter car. Uh, it's a little bit tuned, a bit higher level. This is a bit lower level. This is just the stock Stingray. So what you can do is uh, you go gift drop, you pick that car. And you say this 806 here, I don't need it. And then you can send it to uh, anyone, to new players, to returning players, to uh, new Hall of Fame members, to community contributors. You can send them to whatever you want. Uh, let's say we'll send this uh, to anyone. Then you can uh, put on a, a certain, I hope this car will bring you a lot of victories. Okay. Then uh, you can give in your... Uh, player name, you can put your gamer tag in, or you can just unassigned and send it anonymous. If you do your gamer tag, uh, then this is what it, somebody in the community or somebody playing the game will get this as a gift. And it will uh, show up like this. Hey, you got a gift, this car with a message. I hope this car will bring you victories from Race Master Dave. I sent the gift, there it goes, and it is out. So I have sent it to the community now. Normally, there we go. Disappeared out of my garage. This is a way to get cars out of your garage. If you have doubles, if there are cars you do not want them, you can't sell them. You cannot sell them uh, if you do a wheel spin and you win a car uh, in Forza Horizon 4, especially at the end, you could sell them uh, for half the value they were worth in the auto show or whatever, but you could sell them. Now, obviously you can't do that because that would be give people uh, too much money in the beginning of the game, so they do not have that thing activated now. But they came up uh, with this thing here, which is, especially if you're like me, you want to earn your cars and only buy uh, whatever you want to drive, that you don't have 700 cars in your garage, the gift drop is a pretty good feature. You can send them uh, to anyone in the community and somebody else will get a car and might be happy with it especially uh, if you send out some good stuff that's uh, up to you uh, obviously uh, we have the online uh, i don't know we have the horizon uh, open not sure how that works you can go in there uh, this is sort of the online adventures uh, it's open racing some sort of pvp structure uh, doesn't seem to be a, a solo and a team event anymore so it's open racing now you have uh, the drifting uh, you have playground games and you have the eliminator. That's all under the online uh, category now. Uh, other than that, you have convoy, which is totally not working at the moment. You can try to uh, match up with your friends. Uh, it doesn't work. You can find a convoy and then uh, you can find invite some friends. That is all fine. It doesn't work uh, very well in game. So you have to go uh, either through the Xbox app or the Xbox game bar or something to accept. And then you are both in a convoy uh, and then you have the problem that um, you show up as the crew leader or the convoy leader and uh, your other friends who are with you in the convoy, they also show up on their screen as the convoy leader. So uh, you always get the situation where uh, people see the other guys in their team like not in the leader session and uh, everybody in the convoy is the leader. Which means that nobody can start up the event, because uh, if you do start up the event, then it will say, oh, uh, only the uh, convoy leader can start up the event. But it, it will say the same thing to every player in the convoy. 
so you cannot play with your friends at this moment in time uh, at this moment as you can see it is uh, friends and players is not even lit up for me now which means I once more get disconnected you get disconnected every five seconds bit exaggerated but you get the idea it's not working very well the servers are not very stable when it comes to online uh, at the moment it's a very good single player game let's put it that way getting in uh, although we are online as you can see because you, we have a player's name there on the left so if I now go back to the online now it is lit up and now I do have a session and it, it constantly goes like that you go into the menu, you see it lit up, you are online. Five, ten minutes later, you go into this menu. It's not lit up, which means you are in Horizon Solo, because they kicked you off, or the session broke, or something in that order. So yeah, uh, try getting in a convoy and do some events with your friends. Uh, forget about it. Other than the fact that it is broken as hell at the moment. Because everybody shows up as the crew leader or the convoy leader and uh, nobody can start up the event because it tell, always tells them the other one needs to start it up. Uh, clubs uh, also seems to be a problem with, I have created a club for instance, I invited some friends, I want to go into uh, the club, view the club info and then it tells me that I need to download uh, whatever app from the Microsoft store to be able to see my own club some weird extra feature uh, which I'm not gonna do obviously there's a reason why I bought this game on Steam is to not have to deal with all that Xbox app and Xbox game bar crap because that's what's always causing troubles but yeah uh, in game making a convoy it doesn't work at the moment the only way to invite them they get the invite on the Xbox game bar also not on the Xbox app they're not getting anything there if you invite your friends, so uh, it only only works through the exp it 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 doesn't work. Let's put it that way. I wish they could just get rid of it. They make the game available on Steam. Uh, also on Steam, you cannot invite through Steam. It doesn't work because yeah, none of this thing is working uh, properly at the moment. First weekend of release, it's pretty simple. It's a single player. That's sort of uh, the reality of it. And the fact that already now, uh, on the first two days, the servers are very unstable makes me kind of wonder uh, what's going to happen on Tuesday when all the rest of the people uh, with the standard edition come into play, because they will get access on Tuesday. Uh, hopefully they fix it. The first thing they need to fix is uh, all the antiviruses. The game needs to boot up while you are running an antivirus, because many, many people out there in the world have antivirus on their PC. And uh, whether it's a vest or a uh, bit defender or uh, whatever all other of there are they already posted a whole list yeah uh, if you are running this then the game will not boot uh, that is not an explanation of course they need to come up with a solution for it other than that uh, it's pretty much uh, same story you have wheel spins you have super wheel spins uh, even if you try to avoid them, you will get forced to spin one from time to time. Uh, I eventually ended up spinning a bunch today because I had no money. So uh, it's the only way to make money. You're not making that much money. Uh, although I'm playing on simulation, I have uh, all kind of things up. So I'm get plus 60 or plus 70 percent from credits. You're not getting that much money uh, from missions. So the most money you're going to get is from the wheel spins and the super wheel spins. But luckily, uh, if you get a car that you don't want from those things, use the gift wrap uh, feature and throw it in the community and it's out of your garage. And somebody else might be happy with it. So why not? Uh, other than that, uh, we have the car mastery, exactly the same. Each car has its own perks. We uh, have the horns, we have the promo, uh, aka uh, taking pictures. You can tune your car, you can change your car, you have the car collection now. Which is some sort of collection board and uh, if you have all cars from a certain brand, like in this case uh, the Vul, I want it from a wheel spin, and uh, it's the only car in that brand, then uh, it also comes with a uh, reward. Same story here, if you have the three Volvos, you will get some sort of uh, reward. 
usually it's on the XP or some other stuff. Um, you can also go uh, to the manufacturer. Uh, let's say we'll go to BMW. You just jump in there. There are 26 BMWs. If you collect all 25, collect 20 or more you need to do, uh, then you will unlock a prize. Uh, that's a car, so uh, more than likely this will be uh, some sort of uh, Forza edition or something. I don't know. I don't have 20 BMW to my garage yet. Uh, but even the cars that you give away with the uh, gift drop are still on your collection board. So from the moment you receive them, you will get the cars uh, on your collection board here. Like this 2012 M5 for instance, uh, I send out with that gift drop feature to the community yesterday because just before I bought the 2018 M5. I don't need two M5s in my garage. So uh, I threw it out. So uh, when that when it comes to uh, you can buy uh, a new and used cars, then it takes you uh, to the festival. Uh, over here, same story. Uh, you have the car pass. Uh, at the moment, week one, it gives you uh, the Formula Drift. That is for premium edition owners. They get the uh, Formula Drift pack, and this is uh, the new Formula Drift pack. Uh, you have to um, redeem them from this pack uh, to get them into your garage. So uh, we have the new Supra, we have a Corolla, we have a uh, Camry, we have uh, a Mark IV Supra, we have the Gold Leader, uh, Datsun 280Z, the Mazda RX-8, the Corvette, and uh, a BMW M2. Uh, I drive, drove around a little bit yesterday. Uh, so far, on my wheel, the only thing that I sort of could keep on hand uh, was that uh, new Supra there. The BMW M2 is too overpowered, it just spins out. So uh, yeah, we might have to uh, tweak our settings for the wheel and uh, also cameras and such to get it going. But uh, the normal Supra was kind of okay. You could uh, sort of throw that in a drift and keep it in a drift. And uh, upcoming weeks, in two weeks time, there will be the first car pass, which will be uh, the Subaru STI S209, the 2019 version. On uh, the 25th of November, it will be the Renault 8 uh, Jordini and uh, the Mercury Cyclone Spoiler 1970. That will be uh, for 2nd of December. So those are the first uh, three cars of the car pass. If you have that, if you have premium edition, you have the car pass. If you have standard edition, uh, you can buy the car pass separately. Uh, I'm not sure how many cars there are. In Forza Horizon 4, I think there were 42. And you get like a couple of every month or something like that. I think it was in Horizon 4. This uh, time they're going to give you uh, one car uh, every week from that uh, car pass. Uh, so that is the uh, Formula Drift thing. And uh, here you have the welcome pack. Uh, I don't know if standard edition owners will get this, but... Uh, The Intensa Apollo is in there, the uh, Ford Bronco R, which is an uh, A800 tuned uh, Bronco. You do have a Bronco as a starter car, which is a B700, I think. You have the Lancer Evo 10, A800. You have the uh, Taycan Turbo S Porsche Welcome Pack, and that is the uh, S1900 version. And you have a Supra RZ which is uh, A800. These are all uh, class tuned uh, in a way. And the Apollo is uh, S2998. Drives pretty good uh, without even tweaking any of the tuning whatsoever. That Apollo is uh, yeah, at the moment the fastest thing we have. So uh, if we need to go from one side of the map to the other side, which is about 15, 16 kilometers, I think, from uh, west to east, we usually uh, use the Apollo. Uh, other than that, you can buy new cars in the auto show. Uh, you have the auction house. And you have the Forgeton shop. But if you go into the Forgeton shop, you get an error because the thing is not available yet. Needs to come uh, next week's patch or something. 
So uh, that sort of gives you an idea on uh, what is uh, going on here. So you have your accolades, which uh, sort of things to do uh, if you want to look at it like that. For those, uh, especially on my channel, you are familiar with the crew. Uh, the crew one awards, the crew two hobbies. That's more or less what the accolades are. Something to do, all kind of things, uh, complete the missions, uh, complete all the uh, PR stunts, all that kind of stuff. That's all in the accolades and you can earn points with it and the points help you uh, level up. And you can also, uh, every time you unlock uh, stuff, you get unlocks for this uh, adventure thing uh, as well. That's sort of uh, how it works. This is uh, the starter car that I picked, but it doesn't matter what car you pick. Because uh, those are the first three cars. You're playing for five minutes, you have three cars in your garage. Because uh, you arrive on the festival, uh, you need to pick a starter car. And guess what? It doesn't matter what you pick, you get all three of them in your garage. It's one of the things uh, when it comes to Forza, I'm not a fan of, as you know. I like to uh, spend time in a game and earn my vehicles and not uh, getting cars uh, thrown at my... As I uh, showed before, it's a bit ridiculous. 59 cars owned. Owned, I'd says. So th these are the ones that I have in the garage uh, at the moment, I think. And I already uh, gave away 10 or 15 uh, with that uh, new feature there, the gift drop. I bought one. Yesterday uh, I needed to do a race where we needed a super saloon, so I bought the uh, M5 2018. That's it. The rest are uh, all kind of stuff that we uh, could find on the map or that you get a reward from it or something like that. Uh, what do I mean find on the map? For instance, the BMW 2002 Turbo is a uh, barn find. Corvette C1 is a uh, barn find uh, and so on. When it comes to the barn finds, whenever I can find them, I need to go back to the festival. If you look on the uh, garage, you have the barn finds. There we are. Uh, I haven't found all of them yet. BMW 2002 Turbo, Corvette, the Mustang 1968, the Dart Hemi Superstock, the Ford Racing Escort, the uh, GMC Jimmy, the Renault 4 Export, the uh, Sport XJR Jaguar, the Toyota Baya truck is in uh, a Viper GTS 1999 was in there, a Ferrari 250 GTO, uh, 911 Carrera RS 1973 Porsche uh, these are uh, they are still restoring so uh, yeah probably the next time I come online these are ready or one of them will be ready uh, and I have two more uh, to go 14 barn finds at the moment they might uh, add a few uh, later on if we have a look on the map Uh, we got one here. This is the Renault 4 over there. When that thing pops up, uh, Porsche 911 Carrera. So yeah, I have a few more to go. Uh, whenever you discover one of these outposts, uh, usually also uh, unlock a house or at least a potential house. You can buy it. This thing, La Cabana, um, not 100% sure. Was this 150, maybe? I think it was 150,000, something like that, that you needed to buy it. Uh, just like uh, previous uh, things. Uh, for instance, this one here. This one unlocks after uh, you find uh, the dirt outpost. The price is 2 million and uh, this has the uh, unlockable perk, fast travel anywhere. So you need to buy that 2 million house uh, to get the fast travel anywhere. Uh, I think that's pretty similar as in Forza Horizon 4 if I'm not mistaken. Also there you needed to get the uh, 2 million house to get the fast travel anywhere unlocked. Uh, other than that you still have fast travel boards. Uh, fast travel costs you 10,000 every time you want to fast travel. Uh, until you have that house you can only fast travel to uh, 
your houses that you have or to uh, horizon festivals once you have bought the uh, 2 million house you can fast travel anywhere the price for fast travel is 10,000 but there are 50 fast travel boards out there on the map so uh, yeah the more you find the more your price comes down if you find all 50 then you can fast travel for free and if you have the 2 million house then you fast travel anywhere for free then you can say okay i want to go there on that point on the map and you can just fast travel there uh, i think it's the only oh no i still have the castle as well um there's a house over here casabella that is the first one you get the first two or three i think uh if you have premium edition like we did because we had early access then you also have the vip uh, the first three you can buy for free this one uh, was not worth that much but uh, there is another one here over here la casa solariega 1.5 million but if you have a vip premium you could get it for free so it was uh, quite an expensive one to get and then of course you buy that immediately and uh, knowing what I know now I probably, I probably saved my VIPs and uh, for the 2 million house so that I could fast travel anywhere but yeah I bought the house every time they unlocked uh, there's another one here somewhere hidden behind this Buena Esperanza uh, this one is uh, 700,000 I think you needed to buy it and there's another one here on the beach Lugar Tranquillo, uh, this one was 150,000 I think, sort of a, a beach cabin. There is a beach on the east coast and there is a beach, beach on the uh, west coast. And the Goliath is over here, uh, just like in previous games. The Goliath is a round the map lap, more or less. I saw yesterday some guy uh, chilling around on it and he did something like uh, 10 minutes not even the fastest uh, route not even an x-class car so uh yeah maybe eight minutes eight minutes and a half uh maybe faster for uh when once the uh, rival boss get their hands on the goliath they probably go around uh, under eight minutes so it's a bit longer than uh, forza horizon 4 where it was six minutes and a half i think for the fastest guys but yeah it gives you an idea what's going on uh, on horizon 5 pretty much uh, other than that you have the uh, horizon stories they come with different chapters you can play through you can draw some cars in there uh, also gives you some accolade points uh, and stuff like that other than that uh, all pretty familiar uh, symbols and colors if you're familiar with Forza Horizon 4 everything green related to Cons Country everything orange related to uh, dirt everything uh, purple I think it was dark blue or so in Forza Horizon 4 uh, when it comes to the street scene they made it purple now road scene is uh, light blue and then uh, everything related with red aka the PR stunts pretty much still the same danger signs aka jumps uh, we have drift zones we have speed zones and we have speed traps all pretty uh, similar as in Forza Horizon 4 which is something I probably mentioned already a couple of times in this video it is all pretty similar as Forza Horizon 4 and yeah to uh, put that together to me it feels like uh, what I kind of expected more of the same on a different location and in a way it is some people uh, like that that they stay sort of within the uh, family of the horizon series but uh, they could have come up with some new stuff here and there i think the only thing new that uh, we have here is that these different uh, color things they gave them each their own outpost now but also in force horizon 4 we had the dirt series and we had at the end of it you had the gauntlet the cross country series at the end of it you had the town the titan it all happened from the main festival in force horizon 4 now they gave them uh, each of these families or whatever you want to call that they gave them uh, their own little outpost of the festival so the main festival itself uh, yeah that's related to the Goliath uh, I guess that's what it sort of comes down to you have a horizon story linked to it you have uh, one of those challenges with against a plane or a train and then 
eventually you have the main event for that specific uh, family goliath is the main thing uh, for apex it's the uh, what's it called for apex road racing the street scene is the marathon i know that the gauntlet is uh, for dirt the titan for uh, cross country the juggernaut for the stunts and totally forgot about this one let's have a quick look the colossus yeah the colossus that was the name of the thing but other than that it looks cool uh, especially uh, the volcano up there pretty neat up there uh, you go up there all the way uh, when you unlock uh, the Baya outpost here where we are now which is the uh, cross country uh, festival sort of that's where we are so this is yeah it, this is one of these uh, outposts so you can drive around here a bit pretty similar as the main festival uh, just a bit smaller spectacular flights and safe landings not the other way around you can play around here a little bit you have a little bit of a dirt racetrack here some other stuff you can do some stunts here uh, there are also uh, some boards here like here for instance was a 5000 XP board I think so a little bit of a uh, buggy circuit here there are some buggies in the game so you can play around here a little bit I haven't done that many missions so I'm pretty sure uh, one of the missions will uh, have an event here Oh, there you go. Playground games here as well, available. Map wise, uh, it looks pretty cool. From time to time it rains. Uh, it has some sort of uh, day and night circle. So if you play, uh, let's say for an hour or so, you will probably see uh, once or twice a night. Not sure uh, what the frequency of the time is, but it goes pretty fast uh, from time to time. Street scene, of course, uh, is still uh, night and uh, wet roads most of the time, just like it was in Horizon 4. When you do street scene, thing uh, is B700 has 8 gears the A800 version has 10 gears uh, yeah you have the new uh, tuning thing you put on the uh, race transmission then uh, you can select your gearbox 6 7 8 9 or 10 gear like myself I play on the wheel I have to do the shifting myself uh, 10 gears is a lot of shifting I can tell you that So you might want to change the gearbox on some of those things. Uh, other than that, we have uh, differentials and suspensions uh, for drift, for, for uh, off-road. So you can pretty much come make a complete uh, tires as well. You have off-road tires, drift tires, drag tires, uh, slicks, semi-slicks. So uh, in the tuning, uh, there is some stuff uh, to discover, I guess. Or you can just say, no, I'll make... Uh, whatever car I want to make it a fully off-road vehicle then you put on some off-road tires off-road suspension off-road differential and then you make uh, even the most fast hybrid car uh, into an off-road beast probably but uh, we haven't met her, uh, messed around with that too much I'm just cruising around doing some boards Pretty similar as in Forza Horizon 4 as well. There are 200 XP boards and 50 uh, fast travel boards, if I'm not mistaken. So 250 boards in total. The 1000 XP, pretty easy to find somewhere next to the road sometimes. The 3000 uh, is a bit more looking around, usually under a bridge or something. And then the 5000, yeah. That's usually a, a way uh, of 
needing to be there. Well, here we go again. Once more we got disconnected. Just in a short video here, well, relatively short video. We already got this code twice. Uh, that's sort of how it goes the whole day, if you play a couple of hours. Give you an idea. At this moment in time, uh, I'm assuming they will optimize the servers and uh, make it all a bit more stable. And also uh, patch some stuff so that the common voice works and that uh, antiviruses are not a problem when you start up the game uh, and things like that. Graphic wise uh, it looked neat uh, for an hour or two. Then you need to reboot the game because otherwise you're going to drop to uh, 40 FPS. So uh, yeah, that definitely needs to be uh, stabilized. Sort of uh, a first look. Sort of uh, how does the game look, how does it work, what is the menu. We haven't driven uh, too much around, but give you an idea uh, how it works. It's mainly uh, about the Horizon Adventure and about the uh, accolades. That's where things are happening, that's where you find things to do. Uh, especially in the beginning here now. Seeing Convoy is not working, you're mainly playing a uh, single player. Other than that, uh, for those who want to see more and uh, haven't figured it out by now, I am not posting that much on uh, YouTube anymore. That's mainly because I am uh, almost daily streaming uh, on Twitch. So you can find me there, twitch.tv slash racemasterdave. For those uh, who are not familiar with the, the channel. That will be it for this one. A first look uh, into the menu and how the game itself uh, works, which, which kind of structure. Uh, we haven't driven around too much, we will uh, do that in the next coming days. We played a bit, uh, obviously, uh, on stream. That will be it guys, a first look on the Mexico Forza Horizon 5. We'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye for now.